Not long ago, a rather brave but mischievous mouse discovered a world I had created for forgotten tombs. The curious intruder once again entered my workshop with one goal in mind, to find and retrieve my magic brush. Suddenly, the cosmos spread before him, a plane of imagination fueled by brush, paint, and thinner. With the brush in hand, Mickey saw that the very stars were waiting to come alive. They needed only paint to dance once more. Finding himself at home, Mickey should have felt safe. Looking at the brush, he wondered if Thinner could help him find the truth behind his unease. Armed with the magic brush, what would Mickey do? Would he paint the world or thin it to nothingness? The choice was his.
a doozy of a landing. <laughs> but I sure am glad to see you guys. What's going on? You're just in the nick of time, Mickey. Wasteland is becoming inert again, and with all the damage from the quake. Not only that, but the Mad Doctor is back! He is? And then where's Oswald? Oh, hurry, boys! The place is crumbling! Oswald, double jump to glide across that gap. Oh, the castle's falling down! We have to go! Hurry up, you slowpokes! Hortensia! Do you think she made it? Come on, we need to go around and look for her! By Jove! I bet you two can get out of here by using that balcony! Mickey, go over to Oswald and lob him up so he can do a bit of scouting. Oh my! Well, that was convenient. Hop up there and let's get going. Hmm, it looks like both gears need to be spun in order to open the door. Look there, Oswald. The machine holding your remote has sunk into that thinner. If we're ever going to get your remote, we're going to have to get the machine working again. I'll just use my arm to take care of this. <laughs> Here it is! Now you'll see what I can really do, Mickey. Not another one! Look! What are we waiting for? Don't you want to find Hortensia? Ah, a generic pin. There's a pin trader in Mean Street North who loves to get on either side of the turnstile, grab onto the handle, and walk forward to start turning it. That should move the lift up to the lab. Oh, we're ever going to get out of here. You'll have to use your remote to get these machines working again. Try shocking the switch that's connected to the machine, and let's see if we can get it running. Look at that. If you follow the cable, you'll see that it's sending power to the next machine. This one's mine. I'm all over it. Yeah, I know how to do this. Don't worry about it. There has to be some way to get this machine open. I know. Mickey, grab a hold of that handle over there and start pulling. This is mine. Yeah, I know how to do this. is mine. I'm all over it. This one's mine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I know how to do this. Oswald. You need to hit both electrodes on the machine at the same time. This won't do. The charge isn't going anywhere. You'll have to redirect the current to get this thing operating again. This is mine. Great work. By converting the electricity up to the door, you were able to open a path to the courtyard. And look! The platforms on that machine in the center of the room. They've lowered as well.
this courtyard leads to the train station. If we just wait, the path's blocked. Spatters in the castle? They're not supposed to be here. Before we advance, we'll have to deal with them. Make them friendly, fire paint at an enemy. Or reinforcements incoming! to get across. Once Oswald jumps in the air, he can glide across. And Mickey, if you jump and grab onto his feet, both of you can travel to the other side together. Take this to the haberdasher and see what he can do with it. Once it's distracted, jump on the button on its head and see if you can get the plotling out of the cockpit. <laughs> 